welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you the story of my dog Herky and how she ended up in my life. So Herky is really my heart dog. I love her so much beyond words and she is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. She's just over a year old now. So I got her, it was June 28, 2014. And uh, yeah, when we got her, she was eight weeks old and she was just this cutest little puppy. I mean, Anyways, I love her so much. She's my first puppy and growing up, I always, always wanted a dog to play with. I would beg my parents to get me the dog. My sister and I would write letters to my parents begging them for dogs and promising them we would always take care of the dog and handle anything related to the dog, but we were never able to get one. Funny story is that when I was young with my sister, I even ran away from the house to go play with the neighbor's dog. She lived right at the corner of, of our street, but we were getting babysat at the time and we ran away from the babysitter to go play with the dog. And at that time, I had even saved up money to buy that dog a toy for when I went to play with that dog. So of course, with that situation, me and the babysitter got in trouble. But it was so worth it. All I wanted to do was, was play with dogs all the time. A few months passed and that family actually moved away with the dog. And what's really surprising is that the people that actually moved into the house was my fiancé. And I didn't know it at the time. I didn't even know him at the time. But that's what happened. Talk about serendipity, right? So years later, I moved away to Ottawa and we started our relationship way after all that story. We started a long distance relationship as I was in Ottawa and he was still in Montreal. And I had a job lined up in Ontario and he had promised me that if we were going to be together and I was going to move back, I was not going to regret it. So when I finally found a job to be closer to him, he promised me a puppy, but not any puppy. The puppy I've always wanted and I've always dreamed of. I've wanted a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel for as long as I can remember. I've always been in love with that breed, but they're really rare here. And when my fiance took up the task of finding me the puppy, I was like, oh, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be really difficult, but he did. He really found me the perfect puppy. And I still remember the phone call when he called me. I was studying for the bar exam and he called me and he said, guess what? She's born. And I got so emotional, I was so happy just to know that my little Herky was born and she was somewhere and she was going to be with us soon. So just four weeks after that, the breeder sent us photos of four month old Herky and I swear from that moment on, it was just, it was over. She had one over my heart and I knew she was going to be my heart talk forever. I just looking at those pictures, I could not wait. I was counting down almost the hours until I could get her. I was so ecstatic. She looked absolutely perfect. She was just adorable. She already had that look in her eyes of such wittiness and we just knew she was going to have a personality. So when we went to get her, she just immediately stole a piece of my heart. I remember driving up to the breeder's driveway and we were seeing her afar. She was running in the field and she was just a tiniest little thing hopping around. She was the last one of the litter to leave and she was just following the breeder everywhere because he was the only human she knew and she was really really shy at first to come see us but oh my god was she cute she was so adorable she was this punchy little puppy she was the biggest of her litter and turns out she's really a lot bigger than her parents even now but i couldn't love her more small big fat or skinny i mean she's just a perfect dog for me it all makes sense when we go back to my fiance's house to play all these memories rush back and it all makes sense to me now like it all came together so perfectly and i now have like a perfect life i'm so happy i have this perfect loving fiance and my perfect dog and i could not be happier herky is really my heart dog and i really love her with all my heart so after we got her home she really changed personality and I mean, we just have to accept her as she is because she's our dog and we love her so much but she was really really shy when we first got her but after a few days at home, you just saw her personality come out. She is a little bratty little dog and she has a mind of her own, she does whatever she wants even when we try to discipline her and stuff, she's just this bratty little dog that we love so much and she really has her personality and we really learn to love and appreciate her and get to know her even more on a day-to-day -day basis. She teaches us things every day. We love her so much. She really brings a ray of sunshine to our daily lives and for that it's priceless. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Herky. Herky baby girl, you're my heart dog. You're my heart dog. I love you so much. She doesn't even know how much I love her. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see next. And if you enjoy videos of Herky, I can always do more videos of dog care and uh, anything you want really so let me know in the comments below please thumbs up this video if you like it and we'll see you next time bye starting out smaller so she's used to it especially like it's bigger than the crate so just for her to get used to it you can use the same methods of reinforcements as petting and giving treats and